Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jamie and if you are new here and this is your first time watching one of my videos, I always provide some information in the description below about me if you want to get to know me a little bit better. So today we are on the third video of my body shape series and of course you probably saw the title. It's called How to Style an Hourglass Shape. And so the other two are really just introduction to body shapes and then uh, how to find or what is your body shape. So it shows you how to do your measurements and tells you the five categories that I'm doing a video on for each of those. And so if you are hourglass and you know for sure, I'm so glad you're here. And if you don't and you're not sure, I would go back and watch those other two videos. If you hadn't, take your measurements along with me in those videos and figure out which one actually fits your measurements and what your measurements say you are. And just watch those and you can figure it out and then come back and watch this one. Or you can watch this one if you just want to know how to style an hourglass shape. So we're going to talk today about items that look best on you and some other items that would look okay, just in case there are things that you love to wear that I don't mention in what looks best. But try to stick with looks best if you want to make your body shape look the best it can look. And so I am going to go over all the items and then I will show you five outfits from my online style subscription called Your Guide to Style, which I have styled specifically for the hourglass shape. And you will now be able to find a guide in the online style subscription that has a ton of outfits that are great for the hourglass body shape. It will also allow you to shop any of the items in those outfits. So if you want to check that out, I'll link the um, website below. So let's talk about tops, tops, blouses, and t-shirts. So we're going to talk about necklines first and sleeves because those are going to apply to just about anything you wear on top. And so the necklines that look the best for an hourglass body shape are going to be V-neck, scoop neck, sweetheart neck, and square neck. And the reason why is because these are all open necklines. So the open neckline is best with a larger bust. Now I'm not talking about plunging to where you show everything off. I'm just talking about opening up the top part of your chest so it just looks a little bit more flattering because a lot of times if you have heavy crew necks or, scoot or, or round necks like I have on and you have a larger chest, it can make you look even larger. Now, if you do like wearing uh, round necks and you want to add a necklace or something to kind of break that up, that would probably work for you. But the best necklines are going to be open necklines. Um, I also think that you could do off shoulder and boat necks. Um, the thing that you have to be careful as, of is if you have a broader shoulder line. So when you do that shoulder measurement, if it's, if it's larger than your hip measurement, then you're probably a little broad in the shoulders and you might want to stay away from the off shoulder or the boat necks because they do bring things out a little bit. But if you have narrow shoulders and they are pretty even with your body, I think this is great. Just stick with minimal, simple styles that don't have too much ruffling or lace or anything going on that makes them extra heavy. So just simple and easy to wear. Now sleeves. So your sleeves that look best are just going to be fitted. Um, and then just a regular sleeve, something like this that's not too ballooned. Um, what you don't want to do is add too much to your arm area to make you look bigger on top. That's the idea here. So any sleeve lengths, elbow, three quarter, long, short are great. If you do a cap sleeve, just make sure you don't have those broad shoulders. M make sure your shoulders are still narrow. And if you really, really, really love that balloon sleeve, then I would look at a bishop sleeve. So the bishop sleeve is tighter at the armpit and as it goes down, it comes out and then it has elastic or a cuff at the end. So you're still getting that little puff sleeve, that pretty flowy sleeve without having all the bulk next to your bust line. So that's a good option for you. Also, if you like the puff sleeves, I would just stay with minimal puff sleeves. And if you have broad shoulders, just try them on and make sure that puff sleeve doesn't make you look broader than you already are. And that's pretty much it for sleeves. It's pretty simple. Just keep them streamlined, keep them simple, and have them go with the flow of your body. 
So the blouse styles that are great for you are going to be fitted tees and um, shirts. So anything that is fitted to your body. Now I'm not talking about like super tight, but something that flows along the lines of your body. The styles right now are pretty loose like this one, your baby dolls, your um, peasant blouses, things like that. But I would stick with things that really form to your body a little bit more. Wrap blouses are really great. Peplum tops. So a lot of wrap blouses will have a peplum bottom. It's just where there's usually another layer of fabric that's attached that comes out in an A-line and looks a little ruffly. Um, but you can still have a peplum look that isn't anything attached. It's just where the top comes in in the waist and then it a-lines out and looks a little ruffly and it's really cute so just make sure any of your tops like these that aren't getting tucked in come down and stop about your hip line you don't want them too short and you don't want them too long because that will mess up your proportions and I will say for those of you girls that like wearing crop tops if you have an hourglass figure and you love crop tops you can do that with the high-waisted jeans so you're not really showing too much of your um, tummy and it actually looks really good on an hourglass figure if you love that style and so asymmetrical necklines are great asymmetrical blouses so if you have like one shoulders with one sleeve that are a peplum style those are really cute which i'll show you one styled later in the video but I think those are, are beautiful because it still opens up um, your neckline. And then front keyhole blouses, since they are open, are really good. And then for sweaters, you really want to stay away from heavy, chunky knits. So I would stick with like really thin knits, something that is more fitted and that goes with the flow of your body. And you'll hear me say that over and over again for an hourglass shape. And if you like the chunky sweaters, just balance it somehow with whatever you wear on your bottom half and try to somehow get your waist showing. And um, otherwise, I would stick with fitted and lighter knits. And so other options for the hourglass shape are body suits, which I think are great. They're not the most popular things to wear, but there are some women that really love them. And if you do in your hourglass shape, totally go for this and the reason why is because a lot of the things for an hourglass body shape on the bottom are high-waisted so when you do high-waisted pants and things like that things look better tucked in so you're still accentuating that waistline and you can see that high rise and a bodysuit stays tucked and you can find a lot of them out there now they are in a lot of places and pretty much trending right now so you can find them and they look really good so other options are smocked tops because they're fitted. And then um, if you are a professional and need button downs, just find one that's a little bit fitted in the waist and, and comes down and stops at your hip line. You can also tuck these in and that would work as well. So those are what I think are the best options in your tops. And now we're gonna move on to jackets, blazers, and cardigans. So if you're a blazer girl, I would just stick with something simple, single button. The double-breasted can be a little heavy, but if you can find one that's not so heavy and cute and still cinches in your waist, that's great. A lot of times on a hourglass shape, the blazer looks better buttoned up, but if you wanna wear it open, that's totally fine. Just don't have anything too blousey underneath, something that fits your body shape. And the blazer is best, again, if it hits to your hip line so it goes down. If you wear a st more structured uh, jacket, like a moto jacket or a leather jacket, I think these are great too because they do stop at your waist a lot of times and they're pretty fitted on the body and in the arm and they can look really good as well, even though they don't come down to the hip line because they're meant to be shorter and they still look good, especially if you have something high-waisted on. And anytime you can find a belted blazer or jacket, this is a great option for you. And then other options for a jacket are a utility jacket that has a drawstring waist so you can cinch that waist. 
Um, and then a denim jacket. I never want to leave that out for anyone because I think if you find a denim jacket that's not super boxy, not oversized, that fits really nice, sometimes you can find ones that are a little cropped and fitted and those would be really cute because you wear them over things that are a little fitted and will show off your shape. So I think that would be a good option for you as well. So cardigans, um, I know a lot of women love cardigans, so I want to mention cardigans. And I think if you find a structured cardigan, this would work the best. So a lot of times you'll find the ones that button up, that have the waistline, something that ties around the waist that is a cardigan that you can wear over something is good because it cinches your waist. So either structured or tied in the waist. If you like the ones that are open, that drape, then just find something that's a lighter material that's not super chunky and that goes with the flow of your body and isn't too oversized. And a lot of times those will have a little bit tighter sleeve too, which works for you. So those I think are the best cardigans and just stay away from, you know, the chunky oversized boyfriend style ones and you'll be good to go. So now let's talk about bottoms for the hourglass body shape. So I'm going to break up pants and jeans, although some of these styles are probably going to overlap. So I'll just mention the ones in pants that don't really overlap with your jeans. So pants that are great for you, of course, are high waisted and that's also for jeans, but you could do a paper bag waist, which is that higher waist with a little bit of fabric that comes out the top, like if you were scrunching a paper bag. And those are really great for an hourglass shape and you would just want to make sure you tuck your top in with those. And the, the legs that you would want to do on a pant are either straight, you could do loose fitting that's just a little bit flowy but not too big and oversized and some lighter fabrics. And then you could also do boot cut you could do slim fitting that kind of tapered at the end, or you could do skinny. Just make sure you style the skinny pants properly, like if you did a legging. And then anything that is belted, again, or tie waist is great for an hourglass shape. Now you can do for jeans or pants. If you are a little bit short-waisted, then you might look better in a mid-rise or a low-rise. So if, if I'm talking to you and you're going, high-rise doesn't work for me, then it's okay because like me, I'm a little bit shorter-waisted. I can't wear high-rise, but the mid-rise is more like a high-rise jean on me. So just consider your proportions as you are picking your clothing and trying things on. So if it doesn't work and a mid rise, which is usually about a nine inch rise, nine and a half inch um, would work for you. So don't be afraid to do that. Your jeans are going to be awesome if they are straight leg, skinny, boot cut, flare leg, um, and high rise so you can pretty much do almost any jean style there are some jean styles that are okay for you that are not the best like a tapered leg maybe um, or a wide leg if you do a wide leg i would just make sure it is a trouser fit so it goes all the way down and isn't too too billowy and wide so those are basically the things that are great for your bottoms and just think higher rise if you can do that if not mid rise low rise I, I didn't mention which i should if it cuts off your hip line that's not a great idea for the hourglass shape um, so if you need to do a low rise just make sure it comes just a little bit higher for you so it contours those hips and shows off your waist and you can show off your waist with your top as well. So the next thing we're going to talk about is skirts and skirts you can do just about any length you want to and I would say that the best style skirts for you are going to be a pencil skirt that's my personal favorite for an hourglass shape and then the trumpet skirt so anything that fits over the hips and like the pencil skirt comes in and usually stops at the knee. It's great for professional attire or I have an outfit in the system that has a denim pencil skirt that's really cool and I have it with a asymmetrical one shoulder tank top and I think that's really cute for the hourglass shape. Now the trumpet skirt is usually something that is fitted all the way down and then it kind of comes out at the bottom and it looks like a mermaid and they're really pretty. You've probably seen a lot of celebrities that are hourglass that wear 
these cocktail type trumpet dresses on the runway. So you've probably seen those and most of those shapes are going to be hourglass shape. And so other shapes that are great are your A-line. So you could do a short, a mid-length or a longer A-line. Just make sure that it's a little bit more structured or if it's not, that the material is light and flowy. Also tulip skirts, if you're not familiar with a tulip skirt, it looks like it has a belt at the top, like there's a, a usually a band or a side tie or something. Uh, and then it's fitted in the hip line and tapers in as it comes down. And a lot of times they'll have different sections of fabric in the front so it looks somewhat wrapped. And that looks really great on an hourglass shape, which brings me to my next one, a wrap skirt. Also works really well for this shape. So other options you can do that are really popular right now are the high-low hems, the fuller skirts as long as the material is lightweight, the pleated skirts you'll see a lot of, there's structured pleated skirts, like one big thing that seems to be coming on the scene this summer are your um, tennis skirts. And so those would actually be cute on an hourglass shape. And then, you know, your more pleated, accordion pleated skirts, just make sure the material is a little bit lighter and you may want to tuck the top in or wear a bodysuit or something with, with that to help balance it. So your shorts, again, the best shorts are going to be high-waisted, structured shorts. They can be any length you want, either short, mid-thigh, or Bermuda length down to the knee. Just make sure they're not too big and that they go along with your shape really well. You can also do, if you like casual wear, the pull-on elastic shorts that have the little bit looser legs are totally fine. Denim shorts, Bermuda shorts, and bike shorts, I have an other category for you. So denim shorts, I think anybody can wear as long as you find the right style for your shape. And so just make sure they're higher rise, they give you contour, and they fit your legs nicely. And then Bermuda is just the longer. And then the bike shorts, I think, are really cool if you style them with like a t-shirt and a blazer or something that is on trend right now. If you love that bike short, I think it looks good on an hourglass body shape. So now we're going to talk about the full body items like dresses, jumpsuits, and rompers. So dresses are probably the best thing for an hourglass body shape to wear. I think they show off your figure the best and uh, there are a lot of styles out there that work really, really well. And I wanna name a few of the best styles that are my favorites. And the first one is going to be a wrap style because it has that open neckline. It creates a V-neck usually, wraps around, cinches the waist, and then covers the hip line really nicely. And you can do any length in a wrap dress. Then the fit and flare, so it's fitted at the top, comes in at the waist, and then flares out the bottom. Those look amazing. A sheath dress, which is a dress usually that comes in in the waist. You can see them a lot of times. They'll be banded at the waist. Some are belted. Some are just ruched. And they look really nice. And they come over the hip line really nicely. Not too fitted, but just skim over the body really well. Those are my favorite. And don't get those confused with a shift dress, which the shift dress is more of a straight dress that has the pleating at the bust line. And so it gives a little bit of shape in the bust, but it's really straight through the body. And this is probably not the best option for an hourglass shape. I would go with the sheath dress. And then we have the bodycon dress, which I have to mention because I think this is, this is the dress that looks really amazing on an hourglass figure, other than the trumpet dress that you've seen on the runway. And we've seen these bodycon dresses that are, you know, bandaged, you know, they have that bandaged look. I don't know if you remember those that came out a few years ago, maybe a little longer. But the bodycon dress is just really fitted to your curves, and I think it looks best on an hourglass. So if you have an event or anything coming up and you have that great, beautiful hourglass shape, this would be a good option, and that's just my opinion. Sorry if you don't agree, but <laughs> I really love them for the hourglass shape. Now, you can also wear empire waist dresses. Those are ones that stop the the waistline comes up underneath the bust so if you do an empire waist just make sure that it's still fitted through the waistline and comes down and doesn't just come straight out and you could do that uh, style and then belted at the waist or tied at the waist is always a great option for a dress 
So jumpsuits and rompers. Now these are one pieces that are a top and a bottom and they're usually either pants or shorts, the rompers are short. So just think about what you would wear on your top and what you would wear on your bottom and combine those and just make sure they have a cinched waist. And I think these, some jumpsuits you can find that have a really good shape and some are just unstructured and kind of straight down. So just find ones that cinch at the waist that are pretty simple, that don't attract too much to the top or bottom. And I'll show you an outfit that has a jumpsuit in it that would be a great option for you to wear. So just follow the rules for the other options that would apply to the jumpsuit and romper and you're good to go. And so those are all the items that I think are best for the hourglass body shape. I would love it if I miss something and there's, you're an hourglass shape and you have something that you love to wear. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it let me know in the comments. And then I also have a blog post to this. I'm going to try to have a downloadable PDF in this video so you can download any of these items so you can easily shop for things and see how to style them because next we're going to talk about five outfits that I have in the online style subscription that have a lot of these items styled in them so you can see what they look like together. And so we will get on that right now next. So now let's talk about the five outfits that I have styled for the hourglass body shape. And these all come from my online style subscription called Your Guide to Style. And they're in the hourglass body shape guide that I have in the system. And so the first outfit is called That's a Wrap. And this one is styled with a really pretty wrap blouse. And I love this blouse for the hourglass shape because we talked about the V-neck, so the open neckline. And then it cinches at the waist, has a very minimal sleeve, and then has that peplum hem that comes out in an A-line at the bottom to the hip line. And then I have paired this top with a pair of boot cut jeans which are fitted through the body they're fitted through the leg and they just kick out at the ankle and then i did add a high heel um, mule sandal with a woven strap on it to give you height and show off that boot cut and i think this is the perfect outfit for an hourglass shape the next one is the peplum top and jeans outfit and i talked about this with the asymmetrical top and the one sleeve and i just think this is so beautiful because it does tie at the waist which brings in the waist and then makes that bottom a line out so it makes a little bit of a peplum at the bottom and it comes to the hip line and i did style this one with a skinny jean because it does have a little bit heavier sleeve on it and that just gives you a little bit more shape on the bottom and then I added the block heel which helps balance that top with the skinny jean. So you can balance your outfits with your shoes if you think about it. Um, if you do a little bit heavier shoe and you have something a little bit heavier on top that works. And so this is a great balanced outfit and I think it looks really good for the hourglass body shape and with that neckline this is my second favorite. <laughs> so the next outfit is comfy and chic daily dress. And I wanted to show you a casual dress that you could wear. And this is just a t-shirt dress that ties at the waist and every other part of the dress fits really nicely on the body. And I did style this with a denim jacket because I wanted to show you that you could wear a denim jacket with this dress. The denim jacket's going to hit at the waistline and you're still going to look like you have shape and it's just going to be really cute. You can choose to just drape, the, drape it over your shoulders or wear it on the body. Either way, I think it looks great. And I did style an espadrille with this outfit because it, it, since it's a little chunkier with the little bit chunkier jacket on top, it helps create balance, but you could also wear a sandal, you know, a flat sandal, or you could wear a sneaker. And I think that would work great with this either way. If you want a really casual throw on that sneaker and go and run your errands and you'll be really cute during the day. And so the next outfit is on trend for summertime. And this is where I styled a bodysuit because I wanted you to see this with the paper bag waist shorts. And you can see that these shorts are a little bit more structured. 
they have a higher waist that ties and so when you put these on with that bodysuit it's just going to look perfect the bodysuit has also that square neckline and it has the tight fitting sleeves so this is going to look really good on your shape and help you achieve that balance for the hourglass shape and I did do just a flat woven sandal with this you could throw on just a white sneaker that was minimal if you wanted to to make it a little bit more casual but I think this is perfect for you so the last one and uh, number five is easy to work from home outfit and this is the jumpsuit I said I was going to show you now this is a v-neck you could do a strapless one but i just did a skinny strap on this has the tie in the waist so it cinches the waist and then it has just that loose straight leg and i think this is perfect and i did put a moto jacket in case you wanted to put a jacket over this if it was too exposed and that moto jacket is going to stop at the waistline you could even wear this zipped up to look like you had a jacket a top and some pants on people probably wouldn't even know it was bodysuit but you can wear it open as well either way would work and then i just added a flat with this because if you needed to work from home this is a comfy outfit but you could also throw on a sandal or a cute little maybe platform sneaker or something to make this a little bit more casual if you wanted to but those are my five favorite outfits that i chose and i wanted to show you a little bit of everything that i could and show you how to style these well and i think all of these outfits will work really well on an hourglass shape and if you have any feedback any comments please leave them below i really appreciate you watching and i really want to help if you are an hourglass shape and have no idea how to dress yourself i hope this has helped you and check the video description below and see if I, I will have a blog post and I might have if I have time to do the PDF for you to download and you will just have that right in front of you if you go shopping or you go to get dressed and you can also sign up to view the outfits in my online style application there are a ton more I could make this video a lot longer and show you a lot more but you can always go there and there are lots and lots of options for the hourglass body shape so thank you so much for watching and if you do want to check out the online style subscription I always give you the website address it's www.yourguidetostyle.com and I'll also provide you the link below and I will see you next time